Club of Bagada, Lagos, has taken a significant step towards promoting educational development in Nigeria. They have generously awarded scholarship worth 5.6 million to more than 35 students at the tertiary educational level. During the youth empowerment program held in Bagada, the club's president, Olubumi Oguntade, shared this wonderful news. She joins us now to discuss more about Rotary's plan for education in Nigeria. And also joining us is Adekunle Onalaja, and he is the president of Rotary Club of Town Towson Town, Hunts Valley. Good evening and welcome to the news. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let me begin with uh, Bumi. You just uh, did the scholarship uh, running into millions and millions of Naira to our own children. Let us begin with what informed uh, this decision to, to take a deep dive into the educational system and, and do what you just did. Okay, thank you very much um, and good evening to you and to our viewers at home. Um, if I may first correct um, the impression, this was a joint project between Rotary Club of Bagada and Rotary Club of Townston in Maryland, USA. Um, in, in particular, um, Rotary Club of Townston actually rolled out the first <laughs> fund that um, we spent. Um, and um, what informed it? Um, the, part, the president of Rotary Club of Townston was a president of Rotary Club of Bagada before he relocated. And he came home and saw the way Nigerian students are, and um, based on the passion and the spirit of Rotary, um, he came to us. He was actually the one that approached us and said, well, his club will be willing and ready to do a three-year term, or between two or three-year term of scholarship for students, for indigent but brilliant students. And that was how we kick-started it, and um, it's now an history. I mean, it's becoming an history now. This is the first time you're doing it, or uh, you've done it before? Yes, we have three years, but is this the first year of the three? Yes, this is the first year of the project. Mm. Okay, uh, let me go to um, um, your colleague uh, in, in Maryland. Uh, good evening and welcome. Good evening. Very good. Uh, you came home and you saw some conditions that made you to approach the Rotary Club in Bagada to uh, have this partnership that is giving scholarship to, to our indigent students who are brilliant, just like Bumi put it. Uh, but what are the marked things that you saw that motivated you to bring this idea and the things that you want to ref reform or revamp in our educational sector? Thank you very much. Uh, um being the president of the Rotary Club of Towson and Hounds Valley here, I found out that most of the international projects were going to India, Pakistan, and uh, some other countries. So I felt, being an African, you know, I ought to do something for for Nigeria. So I now con con consulted some uh, members of the club. And we, we and I consulted with the Rotary Club of Bagada in Nigeria, and we came up with this project. And uh, I must point out that this it is a very, I mean, the achievement is very laudable. In the fact that, and in the first case, it was meant for 12 to 15 people, but Rotary Club of Bagada had been able to stretch the money to 35 indigent students. Mm. And and uh, we didn't want uh, children to be to be struggling to pay their, their tuition. We felt if we put up some money, it would go a long way in helping them. So and it's I mean the program is going to run like Bumi said for for the next two years. So for the two years, uh, maximum three years, and by the time we finish, we will have spent close to twelve million naira on the project. Okay. Uh, well, Bumi, I'm sure that uh, Rotary Club Bagada and your partners in Maryland have uh, a package, more or less, for the people of Nigeria to change the landscape, the educational landscape of, uh, of uh, Nigeria. And we see, I'm sure we are going to hear more about that about tomorrow, 
I think there's an event tomorrow that is uh, organized by the uh, Rotary Club. But give us a peek into how you intend to play in that space, the educational space of Nigeria, and change the trajectory of what we are seeing now. Okay, thank you very much. Um, tomorrow will be the second batch of um, the awarding of um, the scholarship to the student. And um, we were able to meet the needs of um, some pupils or students in University of Lagos, Yapa College of Tech, um, Lagos State University, Lagos State University Teaching Hospital College of Medicine, that's last um, and some Polytechnic. Um, and it was actually spread even to Ogun State, um, Ogun State University and um, Taishulari College of Education, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Um, we actually did um, a thorough job in ensuring that the funds are actually allocated to students that are really indigent. We had to have a discussion with their, children, with their parents. And you find out that most of them, their parents are this low income earner. Some are not, are even no income earners. Because I mean, by the time you tell me that your mom has an investment of um, um, 10,000 Naira funds, and that's what they use in sending you to school, you know what that means. We have some students, uh, like some Unilag students, that would go to school during the day and work in the evening. They wash cars and do other things. And this, um, like for two or three students, has actually affected their, uh, uh, their grade. So those are the things we are looking at. And just like um, my president, uh, my old president has said, we are not even stopping at this. After the first two years, three years, we are looking at the possibility of going to Rotary International to see if we can get more funds to do a global grant on this. During the first um, um, uh, disbursement, some of their parents came and, I mean, it's amazing and, I mean, it elevates our spirit when you see mothers coming in and crying and saying, you've taken, you've really taken some burden off me. And that's why tomorrow's event, we target empowerment and giving of um the, the 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 scholarship because it's an indirect way of empowering the parents to do other things with their fund rather i mean invest their fund in business while we take care of the school fees okay that's very nice uh mr onalaja let me let me just uh because uh, we have to be brief now uh what lessons have you learned now that you are in the diaspora that nigeria can borrow so that we can reduce the number of out of school children in nigeria and ensure better standards? Well, I'll, I'll take a cue from what Bumi said. We, we need to put up a global grant, you know, by, uh, from Rotary International so that we can get more money. Instead of doing uh, 12 million, we can actually do 120 million and then it, we will spread it to more states, not Lagos and Ogun states alone. We'll go as far as Ogun or your own do, uh, um, Delta, you know, and some o other northern states, if, if possible. So, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll be putting heads together to make sure we get a global grant from Rotary in International. So you'll be working with other branches of uh, Rotary in Nigeria, all of them, and make sure you, you realize this. Yes, we will. We will, we will be working, but. Rotary, the, the Rotary Club of Bagada will be the, uh, will, will oversee the project. Mm, I see. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just a final word from you, Bumi, uh, as we approach tomorrow, that is like a D-Day for the launching of that. Just very briefly uh, speak to Nigerians and other good-spirited Nigerians. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, this year is creating hope in the world. Rotary Club of Bagada, Rotary Club of Townstone, and Rotary International District 911 is out to create hope for our children. We are not stopping at this. If you still have one or two needs for your children that are genuine tertiary institution, um, and you have the proof that really it's indigent, but brilliant students, we can still stretch it. We look forward to creating hope in the life of not just the children, but the mother and bringing smile into family's life. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.